Hello, my name is Mike Von Baron, the pastor here at Holy Cross. For many of you watching this video, we know each other well. You worship here regularly. But if any of you are new, we want you to know that Holy Cross is a place for you to belong, to believe, to bear fruit in Jesus as well. I'd like to give you just a few updates of things happening here around Holy Cross that you may or may not be aware of. The first is that our church staff is committed to continuing to provide not only at-home ministry resources for you and your household, but also to connect households to one another in the Lord's name so that we can continue to fellowship. And so we've been providing opportunities for groups to gather together online. The Glow Ladies Morning Group on Fridays has been meeting for a couple weeks online. Our youth group has been meeting for the last couple weeks online. Our Thursday morning men's group met last Thursday morning for Bible study at 6 a.m. online. Our confirmation group met last Wednesday online. If you're a leader of a group at Holy Cross and your group has not yet met online and you'd like to do that, we want to help you do that. So just contact me, uh, call me, or connect to me by email, or connect to our church office. The office phone number is still ringing from home where our staff are still working from home, and our office email is still working. Connect with them, and we'll help you set up that online meeting for your group. We also have online opportunities for all of our households to participate in, something called Cottage Gatherings with Pastor. Uh, these are opportunities for you to see and to hear from other worshiping families of Holy Cross who you're used to seeing on Sunday mornings and you haven't seen in several weeks. And so if you'd like to be a part of that, right near this video is a link that says Cottage Gatherings with Pastor. If you click that link, it will bring up a letter from me with dates and times of those upcoming gatherings. Then you just RSVP by sending an email to me at mvon. B-E-H-R-E-N at holycrosslcms.net or contact me by phone. My cell phone is 509-701-6413. And when you do and let me know which meeting you want to be a part of, I'll send you the link for that meeting so that you can be a part of it at that time. Or if technology is not your friend and you'd rather just do this by phone, just call me, let me know which meeting you'd like to be a part of. And I will send you the phone number and the passcode so that you can get into that meeting on your phone. We're committed to staying connected through this and supporting one another as the body of Christ. And because of that, our spiritual care teams are also hard at work, making phone calls, sending cards, encouraging those who are on their list of households to care for at Holy Cross. Maybe you've heard from your spiritual care team leader recently. Uh, perhaps you've heard from someone and wondered, why is this person contacting me? It's because we're committed to helping you feel connected. And if you have any needs in your family, to help meet those needs. Perhaps in your household you have a need for somebody to run out and buy something for you because you don't want to leave your quarantine. We'd love to connect you with a volunteer who can help. Uh, perhaps there's a financial need that we can help support. Please let us know. Uh, just contact me at my email or at our secretary at holycrosslcms.email, which is the office email, and we'll make sure to pair you up with the help you need. We are the body of Christ together. We also want to begin thinking, what does it look like when we start to come together again? Certainly our society has begun talking about that in the last week or so. And the current stay-at-home orders that we are under here in Washington expire on the 4th of May. And we expect that before then, our governor will share with us some of the restrictions that will continue to stay in place when those orders lift. But one thing we know is that life won't immediately go back to normal. And neither will Holy Cross as a church. We will not be able to go back to our normal Sunday morning full worship plans. And so our board of directors is continuing to meet every two weeks online to have conversations about what that looks like. And as soon as we have information on that, we'll let you know. I'd also like to let you know that we are very thankful for your continued support. Our staff is still working. Uh, both our Sunshine Preschool, even though preschool is at an end for the year, they're continuing to stay in contact with families, providing them educational resources and Christ-centered resources for their family. Our other church staff are continuing at work providing worship and group resources and all of those things that we're a part of, and your offerings matter. And while there was a slight lull in offerings at the end of March, as people were waiting to see if we would be getting together again before getting their, giving their offerings at that time, 
here with the beginning of April, Palm Sunday and Easter, uh, your offerings began to pour in again, and we're so thankful for that. Thank you for sharing that support with us. We also want you to be continuing to think about our ministry partners. Many of those ministry partners we have are nonprofit organizations who a lot of their funding comes from the events that they run. For example, Luther Haven Ministries. Uh, they are continuing to make decisions about their programming throughout the spring and the summer, but the lack of programming in these last months has really curtailed the income that supports that ministry. And so your donations are so meaningful to organizations like that. And we pray that you would consider being generous with those organizations and continuing to support their ministry of the gospel. We are encouraged that the Lord is still with us in the midst of this pause. and He is transforming us, filling us with faith, and preparing us for our continued ministry of service in his name. I pray that God continues that work among you. And go in peace and continue to serve him in this second week after Easter.